who just seem to be taking matters into their own hands. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. there it is. Your champions are going to be Na'Vi. It's a 3-0 clean sweep here in the grand final. This is a legit team. I didn't have much expectations for the whole squad. Na'Vi over the years have never really had a comprehensive lineup that makes sense for all the roles are filled. But finally, behind the firepower is Simple Electronic. They've got the pieces they need to be a world-class team. The belief that Simple has in his roster is clear. Boomic leading them against some of the greatest minds of Counter-Strike, reinventing their game with Blade. Yes, absolutely. They've actually learned as the tournament goes on as well. We're seeing them use the timeouts now. They're being more disciplined. They're reeling themselves in. They're not making all-in plays individually. Crossfires are enabled. The in-game leader is fragging out of his mind. It all makes sense. This is a team not to be messed with. Another one for the trophy cabinet for Simple, of course. And I mean, the Na'Vi squad putting Perfecto in that seat. He trials as a, as a, a budding recruit from Simon Gaming, and he gels. They give him the chance. You know, it's similar to that of so many names in 2020, but they've done it. Victory, unlike anything the Spodak has seen before. Nobody could touch them. They did it in the semi-finals, and they did it again in the grand finals. Your IEM Kalavitsa 2020 champions, it's Na'Vi! Our champions are both resilient, and our champions are merciless. And in the pursuit of the cup, they have waded through a sea of formidable opponents in these brackets. Every step of the way, they have found an answer and set the pace, dictating fights at their own discretion, and finally, smothering their opponents of G2 here on the stage. I am absolutely ecstatic to present to you the Masters of Katowice. It's not as sincere, the champions of the Intel Extreme Masters Season 14. On the 24th of January, they added this new kid. They added Perfecto, Guardian, the veteran. He got the bench. This team has come together in a short period of time. They've got the best players in the world, and they're starting to look like the absolute best team in the world, beating Astralis in back-to-back -back best of threes over the last two tournaments. Some of the names that these guys have toppled here today, absolutely insane. We've seen a complete new level of this Navi roster. We thought they could be good. A lot of people had high expectations coming into this tournament. People thought Navi with Symbol and Electronic could be one of the best teams in the world. And this is the first time they showcase that on the big stage, winning, not just winning, but winning in such a dominant fashion. Navi completely dismantling G2. They have absolutely shocked the world here in Katowice. This has been quite a showing, a tremendous showing. Boomich being a very, very impactful component of this victory for Nadas Fitzier, and well, we're going to hear from the champions direct. We are indeed. That was absolutely outrageous. 2011, last time the Navi's name was scribbled on to that trophy. What were you doing back then, back in 2011? 2011, I think I was 14. I was starting to play CES to grind for this trophy because it's, this trophy is insane. It's not like ESL One Cologne trophy or something like this. Intel Extreme Masters, you know. And it's insane for me. In a career full of highlights, what does it mean to you right now to have won this trophy, to have your team, your team Na'Vi, scribbled across it? I just understand that all work that we did, is, it was very insane. And all my teammates feel this power right now. And when you see it and just enjoy your teammates' highlights all the time, it's just the best feeling. To win a trophy is amazing. To win it in the fashion you did, what does that give you as a squad for the future? I think just give us extra confidence. We should never forget that we should work more and more because it's only two weeks and a really good results for our new roster. I think we have a good potential and everyone understands this and yeah. If you've done this after two weeks of training, what do you do after six months, after a year? Well, I hope we're going to be one of the best teams in the world and people will call it. Is this the Na'Vi era now? It's I, yeah. <laughs> well, listen, it was amazing to watch you play. Let's get you to sign this camera once more. They are your Grandmaster Champions for the third time, nine years after last winning it. Na'Vi, the champions of Katowice 2020.
just an absolute bashing here. When you look at these numbers, when you try to explain and quantify what it is to have two members of your team only die a collective of five times throughout <laughs> the last map of the series on Mirage, what on earth have we just witnessed? The last two days watching Na'Vi, and this is no word of a lie, I have been sitting there watching the game and just laughing because what I have seen unfold in front of my eyes, I cannot believe. I thought seeing Astralis take Counter-Strike to new heights with their preparation, with how drilled they were, with how they raised the bar for teamwork in Counter-Strike, that level was amazing. But this level right here, if this is a consistent Na'Vi level, oh my god, the world has to watch out. It's the transformation as well, coming into the tournament. We saw them in the very first game against FaZe Clan. It wasn't necessarily looking bad, but it wasn't looking like a team that could end up winning the entire tournament. The way Na'Vi has transformed himself into being a world beater right here, winning IEM Katowice 2020 in such a fashion, it's really, really impressive. Yes, that's right. The president of Katowice here on site to don these medallions on these players, these champions, these that have come so far and endured so much through the test of time up to this point. If you're a Navi fan, if you've been in the Navi camp, you're definitely holding your head high tonight. Can you imagine how Perfecto must feel? Absolutely not. I it, cannot even think. What, what an absolutely unreal feeling for that youngster just joining this team, you know, being, being the fifth man, the new the new kid on the block, and, and then going on to, to play with some of the best Counter-Strike players in the world, and then lift a trophy at, at his first outing with them in terms of a, a big final like this. In the spot! I could not imagine just what that feeling. Story. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? Oh. It is. It is unbelievable. And I can only imagine how he must feel right now. I can only imagine how the entirety of Navi must feel right now. Right now, right here, this, the place to be, Katowice 2020, of course. Now we need to look at the fine details, the fine print there at the very bottom. We need to now look forward into what is the gameplay of these players that, that have really come out here in spades and have shown up in buckets.